Welcome back aliens this is Navin Reddy from Talisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about access specifiers. Oh hold on. Uh, in Java we don't have anything called access specifiers, we have access modifiers. So if you're coming from C++ background you might be knowing about specifiers right. We have private, we have public, we have predicted. But in Java we don't have specifiers, we just have modifiers. Okay so if we talk about abstract, final, private, public, uh, protected, this all are modifiers not specifiers. Okay now in the end, end of the video you will understand why this calls modifiers okay because i will show you some demo in the example in that i will mention what is modifiers and what is uh, what is how to say that they are modifiers so we'll talk about modifiers here we'll talk about uh, we have already talked about final we have already talked about abstract in this video we'll talk about uh, public protected and private so we'll start with class okay uh, we'll talk about variables later we'll talk about class first so if you talk about class, the only modifier you can use with class is final, abstract, public and private. Uh, not even private, you can only use public, uh, final, abstract and public. You cannot use private, you cannot use predicted class. Okay, huh. Okay. if you have this inner class, if you have an inner class, then you can use private. Otherwise, you cannot use private keyword with class. Okay, so the only, uh, you, the only thing you can use is public, uh, final, abstract and that's it that's it we can also keep that stuff blank so you can re we can remove public also we can say only class a so we can have public class a we can we, we can also have class a right the difference is if you write just class a not not public it will be called as default class okay because by default the default is the access okay that's that's weird right so uh, now how, so what's the impact of this? So let's say we have these two classes. We have class uh, app, which is which has a main function, and we have a class A. If this class A uh, is not public, okay, we are not mentioning any data right there, okay. So will it be private? Uh, let's try. So let's make it private. You cannot do that, right? Because you cannot make a public. Uh, you cannot make a class private. So remove that. Let's say we have class A. Now in this scenario, if you want to create this object of this class a inside your app you can simply say a obj equal to new a now you can see both the classes belong to same package and that's why you, are, you don't you are not getting any error let's say let me change the package name of a class so instead of com.abc let me make it abcd now you can see we started we, we got the error on the app it says it is invisible right uh, it's not visible it's because if you are not mentioning the public keyword to your class, you cannot access that class outside the package. So if you want to access a class outside the package, make sure it is public. Okay, so you can use the default class only in that particular package, not outside it. Okay, that's why normally classes should be public. Uh, so that's done with the uh, class. Let's talk about the uh, variables and methods. So you can make your variable, you can make your methods as public, you can make it private, you can make it predicted. The difference will be, if you don't mention anything, if you don't mention public, private, predicted, if you remove all these three things, by default it will be default, which simply means you cannot access this thing outside the package, as you can see in this example. That's why you have to make it public, so that you can access this outside the package. Okay, so if you want to use a variable outside the package, make sure it is public. But normally what happens is we are using this concept of encapsulation where we say that everything should be private and in order to access the variable you should use methods. So methods should be public of course but you can also make your methods as private. So let's say you have a method in which or, uh, so you have a class inside you have two methods you want to call the second method from the first method and the first method is public so you can make the second method as private because you don't want other to call that method right so you can make it private. So if you make if you make any variable or method as private, you can access that thing from the same class, not outside the class. Uh, if it's not outside the class, not not even outside the package, right? So private is only specific class. Uh, default is only specific package. Now what about public from any package? Doesn't matter any class, any any package. What about uh, protected? So if you make any variable as predicted, it can be used only in the subsequent classes. So let's say from we have a class we have class B which extends class A. Now class B can access that variable. Sounds good. So that is modifiers. Okay. And you can see if you if you mention any illegal modifier there, if you make it a private class, you can see there's an error which says illegal modifier. That means that public or that private is a modifier, not the specifier. Okay. 
So that's it from this video. This, this is all about packages in, uh, this is all about uh, uh, modifiers in Java. So that's it. Thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos.